I'll tell you, it's the best office view in the world. There's nothing quite like it. There's no roller coaster that I can compare to. It's just the most exhilarating, wonderful experience ever. So I'm Major Jason Markson. I go by Flack. I'm Thunderbird 8, the advanced pilot and narrator for the team. And part of that job is I go out ahead of the team and I kind of handle all the last minute logistics for show sites, make sure that there's a seamless transition between uh, us showing up and then the show starting. And then I also narrate the demonstration maneuvers. Air demonstration squadron. The tertiary part of my job is I get to fly media flights, hometown hero flights, and just kind of show people uh, what it's like to find the back seat of an F-16. There's 130 people on this team and there's 29 different jobs. And if any one of those team members falls out or doesn't do their job, then ultimately the pilots who are flying the jets are gonna be uh, at a safety risk. So it's, it's just incredible that the way the well-oiled machine of the Thunderbirds works as a team, but that just represents the entire Air Force of 660,000 men and women. Before I joined the Thunderbirds, uh, I was actually stationed at Misawa Air Base and I flew uh, F-16s out there as a combat fighter pilot. I think throughout my life, I've probably taken uh, a little bit of experience from every single situation I've ever been in and applied that to where, wherever I'm at uh, today. So I was very interested in science and math and technology growing up. Uh, in fact, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid and the importance of education was definitely instilled in me at a very young age. My mom was a teacher. She was a special ed teacher for 30 years. So having that as part of my life was very special to me. I studied aerospace engineering in, in college. So I went to Arizona State University, studied aerospace engineering. I was on the special five-year program because I also did ROTC there. Uh, and it was, it was pretty challenging for me, but I got through it. I struggled in my studies for sure, but I was very fortunate to have a lot of friends that helped me to get to where I'm at. And that's why I'm trying to give back uh, to that, that situation. I wasn't a, a straight A student. I didn't get a 4.0, but I had a lot of people that helped me get to this point. I actually applied to the Thunderbirds twice. And the reason I applied twice is because I didn't make it the first time. And so what I, whenever I experience failure, I try to, uh, I look, I sort of debrief myself and I look for feedback. What did I do that caused this failure or how can I improve myself so that the next time we do this, I make it through. Right? And so I try to control all those forces that are in my control so that the outside forces feel the effects of me making myself better. And then everything seems to work out. Let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and a share. And follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.